Get in! Oh, get in! Oh, get in! I feel very blessed to be one of the only people in the world to experience the hottest place in the world and the coldest place in the world in the same year. Jaha, Kuwait is 133 degrees Fahrenheit, while Yakutsk in Siberia is minus 42 degrees Fahrenheit. For those who know Celsius, that's 55 degrees in Kuwait. Heat stroke is real. And minus 42 in Siberia. Go, baby! Woo! Today, I'm here to share with you what life is like in both extreme climates, and they might be more similar than you think. But let's start with the differences. One of the biggest that I notice is that in Yakutsk, the people seem to be unbothered and are going about their daily lives. <laughs> While in Jahra, the heat is so intense that the people aren't out on the streets and instead, they're in shopping malls. In the US, we would only go to a mall if we like needed to buy a certain item. This is probably due to the fact that in extreme cold weather, you can just layer up and put on more coats. But in the hot desert, there's nothing you can do. You are stuck. And for that reason, it's really not ideal to be outside. I'm taking this, this thing off. It's too hot. <laughs> that all being said, it doesn't mean that life in Yakus doesn't have its limitations. The ground is so freezing that every pipe has to be above the ground. Otherwise, all the water would freeze. This is kind of similar to the situation in Kuwait, where you have to have a special kind of water bottle so your water can stay cool and drinkable. Both places that I went, I had to get out of the main city and mingle with the locals in the countryside. In Kuwait, I spent an unforgettable night sleeping in the desert sand at a total stranger's camp and still sweating through my clothes at two in the morning. I don't even know if I could fall asleep with that coffee in my body and the heat. In Yakutsk, my local friend Maria took me to a village far out in the tundra where I took some vodka shots and ate raw horse meat, a local delicacy. It's actually pretty good. Both of these experiences prove to me that you can get out of your comfort zone whether you're in the hottest or the coldest place in the world. You get the real deal of what the country is actually like. In both of these extreme climates, the people who lived there honestly didn't seem to mind it that much. In Kuwait, people still drink hot tea and hot coffee, while in Yakutia, I only saw people wearing a few layers and saying that minus 35 degrees was warm. Aren't you cold? Today is warm. It's not warm. <laughs> this is spring. And of course, in both places, I met amazing people, had a lot of good laughs, and learned a ton about the local culture. So whether you're frying an egg on the top of a car or freezing cold in snow, whether you want to chill out on the TV and watching YouTube videos with friends, or you'd rather dance all night at a hookah bar, at the end of the day, people in Kuwait and in Yakutia find ways to have fun. When I was sweating in the desert, I was daydreaming about taking a polar plunge. And when I was freezing my fingertips off in the frozen tundra, I wished that it was sunny outside. It's all about perspective. And in this video, I just tried to share with you two beautiful places in the world that might seem different on the outside, but they're actually the same on the inside. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.